Hi, this is Shadi, and today we're going to be discussing a man that is loved dearly by many and particularly Hickson Gracie. That man showed a great capability of learning not only from his family but also going out of his comfort zone and learning whatever he can to make himself a better grappler. That man is Halls Gracie. So today I want to make a video paying tribute to his phenomenal judo that he used against his brother so today we're going to see two fights one against alvaro romano and hickson uh, gracie you're going to see classical judo display and also great top pressure in Nawaza. so he starts he is right-handed sleeve lapel very classical uh, judo and you're going to see how well he unbalances uh, his brothers this one here a ko sotogari followed by kibisu Gaishi or uh, heel reversal so picks it up with his own foot and then proceeds to grip it with his own hand and re reversing it off so Kibisu Gaishi is heel reversal or heel take back so here you see instead of stepping just forward he actually hooks the leg from behind and then proceeds to pick the ankle uh, great display of quickness and also unbalancing and just overall combinations so the fight continues just watch him how he puts pressure and manages to pass the guard so he tries to go for an over under pass very uh, basic and very efficient uh, you'll see hicks and gracie do it many times and teach it so you have the over and then gripping the pants trying to bulldoze someone uh, by distributing the weight so here you have the underhook by Hickson gripping the lapel gripping the pants same way as Hulls did it weight distribution is very important putting the pressure on the side and then from there bulldozing them and passing their guard but Alvaro manages to get up to avoid it here he goes for Seoe Otoshi or Seoenage but the move was not completed since Alvaro goes to the side and dodges it but again great display of speed it shows that he has trained this countless times uh, Seoi Otoshi this is it so you pull like a bow and arrow go down between the legs and then just chop down no levering with the hips when levered with the hips and the back it becomes Seoi Nage so the hips and back stay firm so the fight continues and then goes back into his guard and watch how amazing his top pressure is over under pass very classical you see satoshi ishi is a master of this also jimmy pedro goes to the side alvaro follows and then continues to maintain pressure goes to the other side this time and then he finally passes and puts him in Kesa Gatame or Kuzure Kesa Gatame prevents him from rolling towards him and then puts his pressure and weight at the right spot. Kuzure Kesa Gatame or collapsed scarf hold. And from here he switches to Yoko Shiho Gatame or side control. Alvaro is completely incapacitated, puts his knee to prevent him from turning over, gets back up. And here goes to the other side, puts the knee on the side of the hip. And here maintains the Yoko Shogatami from the other side. Now, watch how he turns his hips uh, as in Ushiro Kezagatami. Alvaro is picking up on it, puts his knee to prevent him from putting his weight on top of him to get into the mount. But it's inevitable he gets into the mount. So watch what he exactly did so he is in ushiro kezagatame and then blocks with the near knee on the near hip so he can climb over to the top to tate shiho gatame or mount position so he blocks with his knee to the near hip and then climbs over exactly what he did no neon belly needed and then from there goes into mount now watch this paper cutter submission he goes into cross uh, lapel hold and then 
sinks it in and while gripping the back of the collar with the other hand and completely smothers Alvaro and gets the tap. So here it does a swift cutting O Uchigari or major inner reap. You see uh, Olympic champion Fabio Basile is very efficient in this great technique catching someone off guard especially when they have their leg to the front brilliantly done by Hall's Gracie now let's watch him against Hickson because this is where he truly shines so he makes him take a step back so he has his, uh, his leg forward and from there he does what is called a sticky foot deashi barai or a sticky foot foot sweep brilliantly faints uh, let's see a modern example of Inoue Kose Olympic champion doing it brilliantly against Iliadis of Greece he faints with Ko Sotogari he gets a reaction and then from there sticks his foot and sweeps it to the side this is not the best example because he's fighting a heavyweight but Hickson since he was much lighter he was swept off completely here you see the same feint done by Hulls Gracie decades earlier. Again, the man went outside his family circle and learned and mastered his stand-up grappling. Even Hickson compliments him till this day, passes Hickson's guard effortlessly, knee on belly, and puts his arm around him, totally incapacitating him. And from there, Hickson turtles to get back up desperately and then here you see something that happens all the time like with a judo black belt or a judo practitioner against a jiu-jitsu guy where the jiu-jitsu guy doesn't have full control of the grips and then his only option is to go for the legs but when you have firm control of the grips leg attacks become far less threatening and that's a lot of people need to realize so this is what i mean by if leg grabs should come back they should come back via the gripping from the top because that's when it shows that you are truly capable of doing them and also if you want to separate judo from wrestling and here a brilliant double sleeve o sotogari he uh, overwhelming hickson and crossing his arms and going for o sotogari let's see it here uh, in this kodokan uh, dvd so you actually cross the arms using the arms to unbalance and then from there sweep the leg from underneath them and then continues to grapple with Hickson on the ground. Hickson tries to wrestle his way into a better position but Halls has his legs and has his frames brilliantly done even loses his jacket. So um, if you have anything else to add please let me know down below this is a long overdue video Halls Gracie had incredible grappling and he should be commended for it uh, I find his judo absolutely incredible Hickson loved him dearly still talks about his judo till this day so if you have anything else to add please let me know down below also consider supporting me on patreon for exclusive content for the patrons only this was Shady and thank you for listening.